So morning everybody, right we are going We are off to Emma's Caf and straight out the garage this morning because sitting behind me in the rear view over my shoulder is Caf and sitting right back there, you can probably see him in the mirrors, is Vincent. So we are having the Sunday ride, nice little uh, couple of miles, or about four miles actually, down to Emma's Caf at Woburn and meet up with all the crew there I have been told that throttle up Martin might be coming down from Cambridgeshire who is slow riders um, I think he brother or brother-in-law or something or cousin or something like that but yeah and um, we met him down at Loomis so he said oh I'm coming down I'll meet you down at uh, at Woburn Triumph so that's going to be interesting and look at the weather it's absolutely lovely there's Dobby's my favorite little spot at the moment where the sticker board is and we're going to be riding up past Rev's house Mrs B is still laid in bed with her cup of tea and chocky bickies while I'm out riding <clears throat> and obviously next week we are off on Holly Bob so a week today about this time we should be heading off to Suffolk to go to Afflington Hall which is very very nice I'm looking forward to that a week away from the garage a little break and have a little bit of chill time and obviously next Friday is the live stream so that's going to be good the big giveaway and have I got some stuff for you to give away before I go on holiday Right, we're going to sit behind the car because I'm waiting for Vincent's to pull in behind and there he is in the mirror on that little sinus terrain. And he's sat back there, just about to see her in the mirrors. There she is, <laughs> waving away. We still can't get these bloody cardos to connect properly. Every time we pair them up, they work and then you got to reconnect them back up and they don't. So anybody got any tips on pairing a... I've got the Pack Talk Edge, um, Pack Talk Black Edge. And it's the ultra thin one. So mine does DMC, scratch the nose a minute, and it does Bluetooth. Now obviously CAFS is the Neo and it only does Bluetooth. So whether it's my one that just doesn't like connecting via Bluetooth, I can connect to everybody on DMC network and I can get that working, but as soon as I go Bluetooth, it don't like it. So uh, any suggestions, guys, would be much appreciated. Come on, car, move your bum bums find out which lane he is going in and then I'm going to hook the other lane so can't move come on <coughs> right which lane is he going to is he going left is he going right I am going left then slow as arse Hyundai drivers we ain't going to be slow coming off of here right let's go Rocky And that little city terrain behind us, he's going to struggle keeping up at uh, the speed that I'm doing. He can only do 50 on that, but I'm going to take my time. We've got two cameras on, so over the shoulder, there she is in the other mirror. The only thing is, from that front view camera, when I'm sat on the bike, you can't see her because she's blocked off by me, but we might find another position to put that camera, move it off to the side a little bit. We'll put another arm on it, see what we can do on that. Fifth gear, 50 mile an hour. Poor little Vincent on that Sidis. Let's get me some visor down. It's hellishly bright. So, as it's uh, only round the corner, we can do a nice little long run. And I can show you a little, about, uh, little bit about Brick Hill Hill. So obviously the highest hill in Milton Keynes. I think it's about a one in... 18 or something stupid like that so uh, it climbs about two foot every couple of feet but once you get to the top of the hill we are 
I think it's 300 feet above sea level, but 165 feet above Milton Keynes, so it's the highest point of Milton Keynes. We're coming off here. I haven't got to worry about indicators because they self-cancel after 15 seconds. That's what I love about the Tigers. Now, this slip road, <clears throat> and everyone said, why are all the cones up on the slip road? Basically, Google Maps tells you to turn left. If you're coming from the woods, it says turn left. So a lot of people coming down here, turning into oncoming traffic. Vincent's had one, and uh, he had nearly had a head on, so they've blocked it off. But people still turn right, uh, turn right, and come down this lane, even though we've got two big no entry signs there, and a thing that says road closed for lane closures. He's caught up with me. I've given him a bit of time to catch up. We then come obviously right to go into my little village of Little Brickhill. And then you do left as if you're going to Woburn down here. Nice little field where we used to go walk the dog. Now straight on down there to the left about half a mile is the official Woburn golf course. You can bloody well wait. Bellend spotted that before I was in the corner covering both brakes as well so a nice steady 40 mile an hour ride through the woods look at the scenery here it's beautiful loads and loads there's over I think 400 acres of woodland down here and this is all owned by the Duke of Bedford the Marquis of Tavistock as he's known but the Duke of Bedford but two minutes out of my house and you are into some lush woodland some great little places down here as well you can just go and park up walk around the woods uh, famous dogging spot no don't go there don't go there do not mention dogging um, I'm not even going to mention it dead man's tree that tree has been there for 500 years and we'll show you on the way back but a lot of people miss the corner cut the corner and then end up hitting the tree or hitting cars or bikes coming the other way so you've got to be very careful there dead man's tree and then obviously right hand corner stick to the left and this is a 60 mile an hour road we're doing 38 mile an hour because I like just enjoying the countryside now in talking of enjoying countryside 2nd of November me and uh, a few riders and uh, probably calf as well are off to Wales <coughs> um, we're gonna take in the uh, Ponderosa calf probably and do the Devil's Staircase always wanted to do the Devil's Staircase. I've done Hard Knot, I've done all the others, but I am going to do a Devil's Staircase. So we're going to go down on the Saturday afternoon and then, <coughs> yuck, taking a bug through the front of the screen while I'm talking. Thank you very much. That was horrible. Yuck. How that got in under my screen, I do not know. Um, we're going to take in the Devil's Staircase on the Sunday. Uh, I nearly had a mouthful of bug then. Should have kept quiet, I've been kept your mouth shut. Right, all the way through the woods, you come down here. There's a right turn. Oh, God's sake, bloody car drivers. Right turn for Leighton Buzzard. And a left turn for Woburn. Check the road, it is good to go. And then you turn into the famous Woburn. Uh, oh, another one crap falling off the trees so that is why you keep your visor down all the time I've got another bike just joined us at the back so 40 mile an hour in through this bit but get up the top it does go into 30 into Woburn and watch out for the speed camera on the right yes very very gently through the speed camera fourth gear and there's some beautiful old houses here. Look at that. Nice little uh, three-storey house there. All the fancy new ones that they built here. Camera's about here somewhere. And as it's still bagged up, yes, but the other one isn't. That's the one that gets you, because that other one is not bagged up. 
so interwoven itself all the posh oldie worldy houses one being worked on there <coughs> just down in front of us on the left that is the old jail house where they used to uh, try all the criminals it's now a designer furniture store there's an open market on today as well look at this spirit of the mystic go and have your fortune read no thank you all right be very careful here check the crossroads we're away that is the famous woburn hotel and pub so you do right there 30 mile an hour follow it through and then just down here and stick into the 30 because uh, you have to be respectable of people in villages big flag flying is Woburn Triumph and Emma's Cafe and they've got the Ford meet on today all the classic Fords are out today they did say there was a, a Ford meet on today so we are going to go right down the bottom, chuck ourselves in the car park, through the cones, and Rev's going to have his normal spot right down the bottom somewhere. There we go. I'm going to uh, drop there for a second. I'm going to let Calf off, drop it out of gear, lean over, she can jump off, and then I am going to uh, whack Rocky in the gap behind me. Right, let's drop it out of gear, look around, and we're going to come in backwards over there. Mind your ass, calf. <laughs> right, let's drop back in. Ooh. Now, obviously, she has to climb off because she still has bad hips from her surgery so uh, job done here we go Woburn Triumph I'm fogging up here there's Vincent rolling in Emma's calf there loads of bikers up good place to meet on a Sunday if you fancy a little bit of uh, fun more of the bikers coming in we will catch you in a few we're going to go and get some grub calf's going to go and bung her helmet in the top box after I've run her over and we'll see you in a few. Till then, take care. A little longer than a few minutes later. See you later. A good place to put a car. Eventful day down at Triumph Woven. Mad old biker was there with Ellen. And we managed to catch up with Martin from Throttle Up Channel. And go and check him out. <clears throat> and of course we had Vincent and Stuart turned up on the XTV. Right, it is <clears throat> about quarter to one. 25 to one at the moment. <laughs> and we are heading back to the garage take the bike back to the lockup. the market is absolutely busy as hell but we're having a run to home <clears throat> very enjoyable morning and my last Sunday for a couple of weeks because I am off on holiday with Mrs B so the last run for a couple of weeks for me and Kath apart from Thursday coming where we're going to the Lowndes Arms at Wadden for bike night. That'll be fun. So, what are we waiting for now? Come on, more people parking in the middle of the poxy road. Where's a traffic warden when you need one? More bikes incoming, noddy nod. So back through the woods we go, past Dead Man's Tree, back to the garage. Nice run out of day though, cracking food as always at Emma's. And 
we'll put a few photos up at the end of the video so keep an eye out for all those photos so a classic car meet there though the escorts the capris the cortinas granadas a little old ford anglia as well really really nice down there classic car meet that was worth it loads of bikes keep an eye out for the photos but until the next time which is going to be Thursday when me and Kath are out down to Wadden for the bike night. From myself, Rev up the front. From Kath in the rear view mirror there, waving like a loon. We'll see you on the next one, guys. Till then, be well, ride safe. And as always, it's a big goodbye from me and her. Thank you.